Nikki, don't be a baby face whiner. That's me talking to myself. I could be a little big baby at times. But I get to tell you guys, you know, no matter what's going on in my life, from the little things that I'm whining about to the big challenges, whatever I have going on, guys, I'm here to tell you that God stands with me. And he doesn't mind me being a baby face whiner. He doesn't care how annoying I am sometimes. He loves me unconditionally and he sings to me. And he shows up for me with problems, anything I have to handle, the people to assist me, the wisdom and the clarity to know the direction to take, you know? And that's what I've been learning from God to tell you guys that we're not going through this life alone. We have God with us. And so my job from him is just to come and tell you that I go through everything that you're going through. We go through the ups and downs, you know, that's, that's life. That's the human experience that we all go through. But I want us to involve God. I want us to involve him in every moment. Like this morning, I'm debating whether I'm going to go for my run. I had a quick meeting this morning that I had to wake up early, shower, get dressed, and go there. And afterwards, I'm debating, should I go for my run? Because I mean, I'm going to get all sweaty again. Can you believe a customer out of blue sends me a message saying, Nikki, run, just with one word, run. And how did he know that I'm there debating whether I should go for my run or not today? And that's just the sweetness of God telling me, Nick, go for your run. Please, you need your run. And under that run, and that run under my God tree today, it was just a message from my brother, Kevin. He said, Nick, the only thing I can tell you is get closer to God. Make God your priority. And that's my message over and over again to you guys, that we need to make God number one in our life. We need to center all of our decisions into God's heart and ask him, what is it you would have me to do here? Not what the crazy lady wants to do. What would you have us to do in every moment, God? And I promise you, promise you, promise you, that's the way that God leads us on the best path for our life. Like that customer who sent me that message, you know, my manager was kept questioning me whether I'm going in direction, what I was doing with him. And I say, no, this is what I feel God would have us to do. And it turned out to be such a great thing. Like he's helping me so much, giving me such good advice. We're learning so much from, you know, this transaction that we're doing with him, you know? So God's ways are not our human ways. He knows everything. He's an expert in everything. But when you follow him, staying on the high road with him, guys, that is the way he guides us on the path that we could have least problems. We're gonna still have problems, but he's gonna show us the best way to help us avoid as many difficulties as possible so that we can have a great life with him. So I want you guys here with me, rolling with God, seeking him, having our alone times with him, just asking him, God, what is it you want to say to me? And so under the tree with my brother, Kevin, he said, Nick, just work on getting even closer to me. And today, for me, it was just listening to a sermon from Dr. Charles Stanley, who I highly, highly recommend. That guy is something else. And he just talked about having a strong life. And so it's on YouTube. I'm going to share the link so you guys can listen to it and what he has to say about having a strong life. Such great information. The best advice. Like he talked, told me I need to have some goals right now. Instead of thinking all these silly things, I need to have important things that I'm working on. And I knew that was God talking to me, guys. So don't miss out. And the best life with God. Just say this prayer with me. God, I want an even closer walk with you. And I promise you, this is the way to the best life with him. Peace.